Scott Sanders. Is a light blue tan more traditional in color than any other color um, for headwear? Meaning, yeah. I meaning like a blue bonnet. Yeah, sure, it is actually. Um, I cannot attest to how old uh, the blue bonnet is. I do know that it certainly goes back to the 18th century, um, and it was absolutely um, the emblem of the Jacobites, with the especially you know with the the crossed white ribbons to form the saltire. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something traditional, ultra traditional, I would definitely go with the the blue. Um, I would, I'm willing to bet that uh, it was the blue dye may have become popular in that time period, probably for some convenience factor. It often is the case with dyes, um, like there was a woad or an indigo source that was common, and it became a fashion item and also a convenience for who, were, who was making hats uh, sometime in the 17th or 18th century, and just became traditional after that. You know, like saying, so like, well, we've always made them blue, so they're going to be blue. Um, do you have evidence to the contrary from a military standpoint, by any chance? At least not from, well, from my point, it's everything's all uh, khaki at that point. Well, yeah, so, you're much, yeah, you're much later. So yeah. anything but parade was still, even the Glengarry's for the 42nd mm -hmm. were, uh, at least for the band, were, were Navy. So it, you okay. still have that, but for most everything that I've done, it, in my research, it's all khaki. Okay. Yeah, but so I think, I think, um, how traditional do you want to be? I mean, if you want to be traditional... In a modern context, then there's a number of colors that would be fine, and I think you tend to see the khaki or um, or black is more common in the 20th century. But uh, but the the sky blue, that's ancient. That's really. I was going to say it, to me that goes beyond traditional to historical. Historical. Yeah. 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 All right.